Marvel Studios is rapidly expanding. It's crazy to think that just this year alone, we are once again getting more content than an entire phase previously gave us. I mean, it's just non-stop at this point, and rightfully so. I mean, Marvel Studios has earned it. Now, of course, there's plenty of people that want some of their old-time favorites to continue beyond just trilogies. Thor is one of these characters that's moved beyond the trilogy, and they're definitely teasing a lot more to come. And now one of Marvel Studios' own producer says, well, Thor is the first of a series of characters that are moving to a fourth film. There's way more coming. So this comes from the executive producer of Thor Love and Thunder, Brian Chapek, who was talking to Deadline, and they specifically wanted to talk about why exactly did Thor get the fourth movie treatment, but not characters like Iron Man or Steve Rogers' Captain America. And, you know, what happens with the future? Are other characters and franchises going to get this treatment? And he was quick to say, well, it's not necessarily that we're picking favorites or anything like that, but yeah. Thor is the first one because we felt like that there is a lot more stories to tell with this specific character, where he is in his life in terms of the MCU, and what we have to do with the future. Other characters, their stories naturally ended. Captain America. Steve Rogers' story concluded and he's finally in a happy place. Iron Man gave up his life. Thor is still around, so you can't abandon them. And then as the conversation continued to go, Brian revealed that Thor isn't the only one. There's going to be multiple franchises and characters moving forward that are going to exist beyond just a trilogy. And some hopes are that some could be up to two trilogies, if not beyond that. So looking at this realistically, um, Spider-Man is the obvious one. I think Doctor Strange will be another one. I also do think Guardians of the Galaxy will continue, just obviously not the same iteration because the team has changed every single film. The brand will continue, but the Guardians will change. I also do believe that you're going to see some additional characters like Captain Marvel recently and Black Panther, for example, can continue by passing on the mantle like in the comics. Captain Marvel or the Marvels, that can continue. They can add additional characters and so forth. So I definitely think that you're going to see a lot of this moving forward, and it's going to start to be an amalgamation. I think Shang-Chi is a given for a trilogy at least. Eternals will exist, and so forth and so forth. But I'm happy that they said, hey guys, don't worry about it. We know there's characters, and trust me, you're going to get more of them. So that should ease some people's minds. Come on, more than three Ant-Man films. <laughs> 